Hey everybody, hope everyone is doing good. Merry Christmas Eve, it is Sunday. It is indeed Christmas Eve. Hope you guys are having a great weekend and I hope you guys are getting ready for your holiday. I am back at Walmart. I said yesterday I wasn't gonna come in this store on Christmas Eve, but <clears throat> when I got home after I did my other grocery haul, I realized that I forgot something I said, okay, I run in Walmart early in the morning. It's right now, it was like nine. I got here at a little after eight. And I said, okay, I'm gonna go in Walmart, pick up this one thing. I ended up getting a little bit more. So I spent about $70 in Walmart this morning. Just a few more things I feel like I wanted to get for Christmas meal. And then this is it, you guys, for Christmas food because again, it's Christmas Eve, it's 9 a.m. Walmart closes at six o'clock and it's about to be bananas up in here so i'm out of there and happy to be out of there so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what i picked up a few things for the holiday and just some random stuff that i had got um you know just for the house okay so i did pick up some of this um laughing cow cheese to go on my cheese and crackers what i'm gonna have for my little appetizer tomorrow so i did pick up that laughing cow cheese i got some cinnamon rolls to go with christmas breakfast tomorrow I was looking for the Cinnabon cinnamon rolls because Walmart does carry them, but they didn't have any. And I actually thought about sending my son to the mall because it, the mall is literally like five minutes from us. And they have a Cinnabon right in like the, in the when you walk on the mall, it's like right, like straight ahead of the Cinnabon stand. I thought about sending him in there to get some Cinnabon cinnamon rolls for tomorrow, but I figured I'm not gonna do that. Although he would have gladly went, but. I just said, I'm just going to get these. And I just went ahead and got those. I'll bake them up tomorrow morning. And I needed some butter. So I got some of this Challenge salted butter. This salted butter, all the butter was gone. The only butter that they had left was the unsalted butter. And if I didn't have a choice, I would have just got that. But they did have some of that Challenge butter. I got three boxes of the bacon and cheddar au gratin potatoes. This is what I went into Walmart for in the first place because I forgot to get it yesterday when I was in the store. So I got the Betty Crocker cheddar and bacon scallop potatoes or au gratin potatoes. I got those to go without dinner for tomorrow just to put on the side with those steaks. I'm not gonna have any of those, but I figured my boyfriend or my son might like some of those potatoes. So I got two boxes of those. But one of the desserts, I also got the Marie Colander's banana cream pie, if you could see that. The sun is like coming in. Banana cream pie, I went ahead and got that. I did have a pumpkin pie in the freezer left over from Thanksgiving that I didn't even cook. I just never got around to baking it. So it's still in my freezer from Thanksgiving. So I figured we could have that and we could have this, well, they can have that and they can have this banana cream pie. That looks really yummy. I picked up the Gold Peak Zero Sugar Tea for myself. I was, I think I have like one of those left. I was running low on that. And I got some of this Stoke Cold Brew Coffee for myself. I was also running low on that. I feel like I want some um, iced coffee this morning for some reason. That's what I got a taste for, some iced coffee. I showed you guys that. Okay, I did get two bottles of the non-alcoholic cider. So I did get the um, the Welch's sparkling cider, the non-alcoholic Welch's cider. Oh my God, the sun is coming in here. And I also got the, um, where the kind did I get? I also got the sparkling rosé. The sparkling rosé. I don't want to break those. You guys want to hear a funny story? So yesterday, my son, sorry guys, my son wanted um, some McDonald's yesterday. So I took him to McDonald's. I got some lemons for some lemonade and some other things. So I took him to McDonald's yesterday to get him something to eat, right? So my son is 20. Um, so anyway, I took him to McDonald's to get him something to eat. So he went inside, got his food, and he came out. And, you know, I'm just sitting in the car, whatever. And he gets in the car, he has his food, he's drinking his soda. 
So I'm like, you know what? I'm like, can I have a French fry? And he's like, he looked at me and he's like, Ma, you're on your diet. I'm like, I know. If you don't know, I, I eat low carb. Or, uh, yeah, very low carb. So I'm like, I, j I just want a French fry. He's like, Mom, he's like, I'm not going to be... <laughs> I'm not gonna be a party to your self-destruction. <laughs> it's like I'm not gonna give you a French fry. I'm not gonna help you self-destruct. I'm not gonna help you sabotage yourself. He's like, no, I'm not gonna give you a French fry. Did he give me the French fry? No, he did not. <laughs> and looking back on it, I'm glad that he didn't. Now listen, if I really wanted French fries, I could have just went home and made some. We have some in the freezer, but I really didn't want French fries. I just wanted to taste one of the McDonald's French fries. And he's like, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and be help you self-destruct. You know how like on um, the 600 pound life, <clears throat> how like, you know, these people have all these enablers around and they just bring them food all the time because they don't want the person to be upset or they want them to be happy or whatever. That would not be my son. My son would be like, no. <laughs> you're going to eat this chicken salad and you're going to like it and that's it. You know? So, yeah, my son is definitely not an enabler when it comes to stuff like that. He's not an enabler on anything. So, he would be like, French fry? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I did pick up these toaster strudels for my son just to have in the freezer. He likes these. And this is the cream cheese and strawberry. Ooh, that sun is coming in. I'm going to hurry up here. This is the last thing, you guys. I got some of these Hebrew National Beef Franks in the puff pastry in the blanket. Just as like a little appetizer for everyone. So I went ahead and picked those up. So, you guys, that's it. That's all I got this morning from the store. I don't plan on going back into another store until after. Really, unless I absolutely need something until like after the new year. Um, which is just like what? I don't know. Today's what the twenty four like a week away. So that's it. That's all I'm that's all I have. That's all I'm getting. I'm not getting anything else. I got enough. We're good to go. It was seven minutes in. So yeah. So I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. I am fortunate enough I don't have to work on Christmas Day. Um I've had the entire weekend off, so I don't go back to work until Tuesday morning, which is which is fine. Um I do have to work New Year's. Um, I'm fine with that, of course. So anyway, you guys have a wonderful holiday. Merry Christmas. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your time. Even if you're somebody like me who works in healthcare and you have to work, um, enjoy it with your coworkers. Um, make the best of it and just have a great and awesome holiday. I will see you guys on the next video. Take care. Merry Christmas, you guys.